Good afternoon, New Age Pipe Smokers YouTube Pipe Community. I'm Chris with New Age Pipe Smokers, and this is How Bad Can It Be? So today, I have uh, a classic. Um, I've been finding these pretty cheap on Cigar Bid, so I figured, and they got a ton of them, so I figured I'd give it a whirl. So today, we are going to be trying Captain Black Original. Uh, I haven't opened it, I haven't smelled it. So here we go. Pretty uh, pretty minimal packaging. It's kind of cool. So what I'm looking at is some black and brown leaf. Um, pretty fair cut. Kind of a thick ribbon. Mm, I'm not seeing too many funky pieces in here. This is a black Cavendish and Burley. Um, Kind of smells like caramel. Maybe a little booze. Real chocolatey and caramely. Um, it's actually, it's not very sticky. I'm, uh, I'm actually pleased about that. I was afraid this stuff was gonna be like their Royal. I've had the Royal. It's, um, it's shiny. It's all black and it's shiny, like someone spritzed it with water right before they sealed it. But it's wildly sticky. It actually gummed up. I got a Grabo for Christmas one year, along with a pouch of that stuff. And uh, after a couple smokes, um, I went to clean it out and I couldn't get the stem off. I froze it. I heated it. I used like... Um, I wrapped like electrical tape around, you know, the stem and around the shank and used, uh, you know, two, two Leathermans to try and tear it apart. And of course I didn't put enough, um, tape on there. So it, it cut through. And then when I saw that the stem and the shank was marred, I just put the Leatherman straight on it. Cause I was just done with it. I just wanted to see how frozen it was. And, uh, I couldn't, that didn't work. Two Leathermans wrenching opposite each other. Nothing. So I threw it all away. So today I have my um, Missouri Meerschaum Diamondback. I like this thing. Uh, it's got a nice deep bowl compared to most Missouri Meerschaums. really surprised at how I mean there's obviously a little bit of stickiness it's a little moist like you'd expect from Captain Black but it's not nearly as ridiculous as I thought it would be so it's a step in the right direction anyway it smells good I'm just wondering if these burleys are going to be rich enough to uh, make it taste like anything other than hot air my lighter today, actually I'm glad I found one of these. It's a clipper. It might be out of fuel, but I have a couple more. Clipper pipe lighter, all metal. I think it's pretty sweet. Right off the bat, getting a good sizzle when you light it. It's also typical with these pouch aromatics. on there oh I didn't do the thing ladies and gentlemen new age pipe smokers how bad can it be
brought a beverage. Someone mentioned that I my reviews are terrible because I never drink anything. I always have a can of sparkling water in my car. I also have two or three bottles in my book bag over here. Uh, I just don't always take drinks on videos. I'm, I'm there to smoke the pipe and talk about the tobacco. And sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And I'm only chiefing on it right now to get it lit. The same the same commenter said that I puff too fast. I tried to point out that um it was a goopy aromatic and it was hard to keep lit. Like this one. So, you know, kinda for me that ruins the experience. I like and this, uh, this stuff they add, the humectants they add to this stuff, I mean, this stuff might dry out if you let it. Oh yeah, I left that Captain Black Royal out open on my desk for like a week. And it was still shiny. It wasn't as wet per se, but losing its moisture actually made it more sticky if that makes sense it's like when a when a sucker gets stuck to your couch you know as it dries it just becomes like a, the wet sucker maybe itself isn't that sticky but once it dries it's part of that couch i have kids if you can't tell This stuff just won't stay lit. It's super mild. It's not unpleasant. Aftertaste just tastes like burning. Doesn't taste like anything, but the retro hail is actually really pleasant. Burleys are definitely, definitely carrying this one. It's a pretty pretty I wouldn't say stout burly but it's um it's nutty earthy it's got a it definitely the burly's definitely um run the show here that and the the topping Doesn't bite at all. Boy, that topping, I'll tell you what. That's inviting. It's um it's pretty good. I'm not real huge on aromatics. I smoke them occasionally. And this is the kind of thing I look for. It's almost one note because of the topping, but the 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 burleys definitely actually help out quite a bit. This 
so maybe two no. <laughs> if that's a thing. Because it's light, because they were light with the humectant, I'm not getting a lot of that. I'm not really getting a lot of that at all. Maybe a little undertone. Maybe that's kind of the the edge that it had that I I might be contributing to the burleys. If there is humectant. I mean, there is, obviously, but it's not a lot. I see why people love this. People who, um, you know, their palettes obviously are geared more to, like, softer, less, um, less complex stuff. I can see, I can see people getting hooked, you know, getting hooked on the, um, on the sweetness and the, uh, the topping on this one. Um, I can see where there are people, why people out there would, you know, search around through tobaccos, find this one and say, that's the one, not me, but. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm glad I have a pouch. I'm gonna keep it in my car. I'm gonna put it, put it away right now. I'm gonna keep this in my car and uh, pull it out from time to time. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so, um, yeah, it's like a lot of other aromatics. It's it's uh, it's it's got a, it's soft, no bite. Doesn't really taste like anything, but on the retro hail, it's very rich, um, like creamy. Definitely caramel. I don't get the booziness. I don't think. Yeah, I'm not getting a whole lot of boozy that I got in the in the from the the bag note or the pouch note or whatever. But uh, no, this is um, yeah. But there's a reason why people love it, and now I know. A little finicky might be able to dry it out and uh have a better better experience this is just fresh from the pouch freshly opened i've only had it about a week so yeah so how bad can it be um it's there's it's it's not bad not bad at all not something i'd want to smoke every day I do like a more potent tobacco, um, you know, which I just like blends that are put together well, well thought out. This stuff's no nonsense. It's just sweet, smooth. Yeah. If you like aromatics and you haven't tried it, I mean, it's, it's an icon in the world of aromatics so yeah give it a whirl if you don't like aromatics you won't like it eh, you might i think it'd be amazing with a pinch of ikea but 
I don't think I have any blending Latakia at home currently. So anyway, that's my video. Uh, I hope it, uh, hope it enlightened some people to, uh, who may have just had the, you, you, people say bad things about, you know, Captain Black all the time. Uh, gets a lot of grief. Um, cause it's cheap and you can get it anywhere. Um, but it's good. It's a good aromatic and there's a reason why it's been around so long. So anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.